Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are here at our local AMVETS. That sign said orange tags are 50% off and green tags are 25% off. So we'll keep that in mind. I didn't have much luck in clothes, so I'll have a look around, maybe grab a few mugs. I see this heart pattern a lot. Usually blue, sometimes pink. So cute. Oh, these look hand painted. Very pretty. But not quite what I'm looking for. Not much resale value there. I'll make my way over to the wonderful wall of mugs and glasses. Hold on, this caught my eye. It looks like it's a cake stand. I love that glossy strawberry border. Oh, my favorite fruit, so cute. Not in the best shape, but only a few dollars. I'll think about that for myself. Look at these handsome glasses. Love those. I see some Oneida there in the front. Basket pattern, I think. Ooh, this is a Disney cocktail shaker. Missing its lid. Hmm, a dollar, I'll hang on to it. This snowman mug is cute. The sold comps are all over the place for it, so I'll just leave it for a snowman collector. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. Heavy for its size. Stephen Carter for Hallmark. I'll look that up. I'm just taking my time, checking out just anything that catches my eye. It was getting too busy over in mugs, so I'll make my way back there. I think that was for candles. Not sure about that. Little stack of sewing patterns here. I'm looking for a date on this. Maybe I'll find something vintage in the pile. Some are harder to tell based on the style alone. <laughs> but then sometimes <laughs> it's very easy to tell. <laughs> That's plastic. Oh, wouldn't this look cool on a coffee table? Little genie lamp, maybe for a candle or incense. And I'm seeing some hand painted things. Let's have a look. This teapot has one big chip, otherwise very nice. Nearly perfect, so whimsical. 
I feel like it would look so cute near a little flower garden. Now forgive me, but I feel like Festin Coquin is not the proper pronunciation. And in hindsight, I maybe should have bought that teapot. Uh, <laughs> I am so sorry to everyone in France and all French speakers. I think it's pronounced Festin Coquin. That's my best try at it. Forgive me. I am so, my French ancestors are so disgusted. They are just, they're spitting on me, <laughs> figuratively. Anyway, that brand is French pottery. It's pretty desirable and I could just kick myself, but hey, you live and you learn. <clears throat> Sadly, this red here is coming off. Tonight, we are just having a little, uh, doing a lap around our local AMVETS before we head to our nearest Goodwill bins. Oh, how cute is this? Mm -hmm. Anyway, the bins are about an hour's drive away, so we make a day of it, and uh, I will show that haul at the end of this video. Up top, I spotted this uh, Swell water bottle. I sold a large gold one recently. So I'll see if this one is worth taking. This is not plastic, this is glass. Pretty heavy. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> if you're enjoying the thrifting videos, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. I don't record every time we go sourcing, but I'm trying to get at least a couple videos out a month. My partner and I are going to Las Vegas soon, and I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, to meet Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. I'll link her channel in, the, in the, the description box, along with links to my stores. A lot of nice things, a lot of cute things, but I'm just, I'm not loving any of these mugs. I do wish I would have grabbed these cute mugs. Some of the hand-painted GAC mugs do sell well. Maybe next time. I wasn't so sure about those. I wasn't sure if there were supposed to be four. Anyway, I put the Disney Shaker back on the shelf. It wasn't very profitable, but the metal ones are. So I will keep that in mind. I also put back the swell water bottle again just not profitable the other one i sold was new with tags and i made a healthy profit on it i am taking the hallmark uh, i mug and uh, all my mugs are listed on mercari and some on depop as well Always trying to look high 
and low, not just in the middle. Another Oneida, love that pattern. Oh, ooh, a Dunder Mifflin mug. I'll pick that up, but first I have to see this. We love anything with a nice brown glaze. I'm no expert, but I don't recognize it. No chips in the ceramic itself. Mm, I'll think about it. Be right back. This is cute, like a little cupcake with chocolate sprinkles. These are interesting. Little hmm, cartoon whiskey glasses. Looks like hobnail bottom. Oh, and this one has a pocket for cookies. By the way, I did buy that Dunder Mifflin mug. And by now we are at Goodwill browsing for blue tags, Faded Glory. This is a Walmart brand, but everything with a blue tag is just $1 today. The limited. Short sleeve shirts here are typically about $5. This is a very cute MTV t-shirt. It's new with tags. Had good luck with MT, MTV things before. Mm, but that's definitely a pink tag, so I'll leave it. Isn't this little piggy bank cute? Good little face. Please excuse the uh, parrot bites here on my fingers. Now this is cool. Way to go, Alicia. This is a nice piece of pottery. If you guys see something good on the shelves that I missed, let me know in the comments. Oh, wow. There's a tiny cork in there. Made in Taiwan. Interesting. This is pretty. Looks like a giant flower. This is a gorgeous little mug. Maybe another homemade piece.
A spoonful of sunshine for tea and you for my company. Ever my best friend, I'll drink to thee. So cute. This I recognize from Target. Hmm. Pampered Chef. Yeah, a couple of those. This is interesting. Anthropology. I'll have a closer look at that. Great little mug for a farmhouse style kitchen. That's cute. Oh, something caught my eye. Did you see it? It's a Starbucks holiday mug. I'll hold on to that. I'll have to look it up. Can't touch this fringe, so cute. I really like this monogram mug. I don't think I'm gonna take it, but I see something. Oh, ho hold on. Okay, yes, I recognize this silhouette. It's a monogram anthropology mug. Oh, too bad for that chip. It was getting too crowded over there, so I'm back and close for a moment. I see Disney. Classic Mickey. Ringer T. Blue tag, yes, yes. What else? Target, Kohl's, another Disney, another blue tag. Every store we've been to has been busier than usual. I think because my state lifted our indoor mask mandate, so I guess more people are probably out and about. So I definitely had a smaller haul than usual this time. Everything felt picked over, I'm sorry to say, but we still got some great deals and I'm gonna start with the stuff I got at the bins since I never film in there. I found this very cozy Trader Bay sweater. I love that detailed pattern, so cozy. And these sweatpants are actually Lululemon and I probably wouldn't have seen that leg mark. Everything's gonna get a good clean. It was actually these buttons that gave them away. How cute are these? That blue one is like a trendy tie front top. And I don't, I don't normally buy Ivory Ella. There's not a ton of profit in it. 
Uh, but since we paid per pound at the bins, I did. Uh, that's a kid's Under Armour hoodie. Youth medium. Still from the bins. And... Uh, uh, oh. This Mickey shirt is the last thing from the bins. The other two you've seen. I also list my Disney stuff on Depop. Uh, Disney, Harry Potter, anything retro and fun. This is new with tags. It says, need my coffee. Just a cute, fun little t-shirt. Printed on a next level tee, so soft. Sold by Closet Candy Boutique. And this is, this is a champion hoodie. And it's cool, it's still got the front pocket, but it's got like, um, like a short sleeve with, um, like the bottom half of it sewn. Does that make sense? So like it's a short sleeve hoodie, but it's really flowy. Oh my God, my camera is doing this just no favors. But it's soft. Like I would just throw this on like over a sports bra to go to the gym. Love it. Next is this green apple yoga sweatshirt. So fun, just really interesting to look at. And then I also got these yoga leggings. These are made by Guyam. And you can see that right there. And they're just a full length legging. They've got like a little ruching there at the ankle. I think that's it for clothes. Yeah, I found this fun mug. Not a blue tag, but still 99 cents. Tezo tea is served at Starbucks. I didn't end up buying that brown Starbucks mug, but I did get this floral one at uh, another Goodwill. I just think this is so pretty. I'm tempted to keep it. It's newer. It's in great condition. Again, just 99 cents. Oh, I didn't get the pea mug either. That Red Anthropology one. The only one I got from that store was this one here. Some of you may recognize it. Magenta Studios. This was my most expensive item of the day at $1.99. 15 items, 16 bucks. 